Hello again, I am Blunty, and on the table today I've got something probably every single GoPro shooter out there should be adding to their arsenal of gear. Haha, <laughs> ass. It's called the Cage. <laughs> Why did I say that? It's called the Cage Pro, and I discovered it through PhotographyInCinema.com, a site that several of my handiest camera support accessories have come from. And this one, yeah, well, it's one of the most unique products you'll find there. Now, ostensibly, it's a housing cage for the GoPro cameras, a camera cage, as they call it, which in itself isn't that unique. There's a few to choose from out there, some of them quite good, but this one is special in that it has a built-in power supply system. It's made to run from an LP-E6 battery, which is the stock standard battery you'll find in Canon DSLRs. They're very common, very easy to find, and the third-party options are also pretty cheap, too. And as the box says, just one of these batteries will power up your GoPro for five hours in its standard setup. A little less, of course, if you're using the LCD backpack screen like I do, or are actively using the GoPro's built-in Wi-Fi, because naturally both those things chew up the juice a little bit faster. But we'll come back to that. Now there's some circuitry inside, of course, to regulate the power and drop the Canon's battery 7.2 volts down to the 5 volt USB supply rail the GoPro expects, which of course is handy because you don't want to blop your GoPro. There's also a 62mm threaded filter ring on the front, which is very handy also. And like all good camera cages, it is festooned with an array of quarter 20 mount threads for attaching mounting systems and tripods and microphones and lights and monitors and your smartphone if you're using the Wi-Fi view screen option or whatever you need on there pretty much. And it's also supplied with its own bespoke top handle, which is going to be super handy for you folks on skateboards and such. The GoPro camera just slides in inside the standard skeleton housing, which of course you need because you obviously need to plug the Cage Pro into the camera's power input. Duh. It all fits in very snugly and is secured in place by two locking mechanisms, one on the top, one on the bottom. So there's just no chance at all of the camera accidentally coming free of the cage if it cops a knock or a crash or something. The best part about this system, though, as opposed to the other ways people have kind of hacked together external power systems for the GoPro, is that it is all self-contained. There's no exposed wires to get caught up or crap to be accidentally pulled out. There's no strain on the GoPro's USB socket. And it is the work of seconds to swap out for a fresh battery without even having to pull the GoPro out of its cage or even out of its own housing. It is a super elegant system, and it does exactly what they claim. You'll be able to run for five hours straight, no worries at all. But personally, the way I use my GoPro, it is almost always with the LCD backpack because, well, I really need to see what I'm doing, not just sort of point it at stuff and hope I get a good shot. So I ran another test, this time with the LCD backpack on, which, by the way, the Cage Pro has been designed to accommodate also. And sure enough, where once I was straining to get a mere 45 minutes from the GoPro's own battery with this setup, the Cage Pro just kept feeding in the juice for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Fantastic. The only thing I don't like about the Cage Pro is that the battery door latch can be a little bit fiddly. But then again, I'd rather that than a latch that pops open too easily, I suppose. That, and I wish the battery compartment had a spring release or something to push the battery out, because sometimes you have to give it a gentle tap or two to free the battery when you're swapping it out. Two very, very, very minor things in my mind, and nowhere in sight of being deal breakers as far as I'm concerned. So, for those of you out there who are routinely frustrated by pretty much the GoPro's only bugbear, its battery life, these are currently selling for $150 on photographyandcinema.com, like I said. Naturally, it does add a bit of bulk to the tiny GoPro, so that's the compromise there, but it's not all that bad, and the cage itself is surprisingly light, even with a battery in. Oh, and yes, I've tested it with the Hero 3 Plus Black Edition too, and it works perfectly because despite the GoPro people telling you that the 3 Plus is smaller, it's actually only the supplied housing that's smaller. The camera itself is precisely the same size as its predecessor, and that means it fits perfectly into the skeleton housing, and that means, of course, it fits into the Cage Pro perfectly. And because the 3 Plus is also slightly more battery efficient, you'll stretch your run times a little bit further with the Cage Pro as well. And if all this means I can stop constantly worrying about how much battery life I have left in my GoPro and how many more precious minutes I can shoot for, or even just ensuring that I miss fewer shots because I'll be able to leave the GoPro on between shots without stressing about how much power I'm burning through. Which will mean, of course, I get to avoid the sluggish startup time of the GoPro. It's wonderful. Well... 
You can bet your left bum cheek that the Cage Pro has earned a spot in my gear bag whenever I'm going to be shooting with the GoPro. It's brilliant. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. Hope this has been helpful, and I will catch you next time.